hey, it's Aaron, the metal theologian. So today we're going to do a little record collecting story about this record. It's a little crunchy, but uh, it's an original. So, it's going to be a cool story, I hope. I think it's a funny story, but... Um, First things first, today uh, we've got the uh, Swamp Hop brand, uh, Satsuma Fizz. I have never had this before. I'm a big fan of the Noble King Cola. It's probably the best cola I've ever had. Um, but this is uh, from the Swamp Pop Company in Lafayette, Louisiana, so it's a good southern soda. Southern, yeah, southern soda. Unfortunately, it's caffeine-free, but uh, it is made with pure Louisiana cane sugar, so... Uh, Let's give this a shot. And uh, I actually have no idea what this is going to taste like, although I assume it's uh, some kind of citrus based on the bottom. I'm getting over a cold, so this is probably going to be a short video. I actually feel pretty weak. And uh, I'll just pour a little bit for Spencer here before I uh, swill the damn thing, get my germs all over it. So, um... More. All right, That's so fine. here we go, though. Um, let's see how this tastes today. We're going to give it a shot. It's definitely an unusual color. It's really clear, but it has sort of a little bit of a amber hue. It's really clear in the glass. That's really good. It's like an orange soda, but it isn't like a sun kissed or something like that where it's all like, ah, like super sweet. Doesn't taste I like th orange though. Well, I think it does. I think it tastes really orangey, or sort of tangerine-y, maybe. It's um, it has a really good mouth feel, like the other one did too. It kind of coats your mouth with the flavor of it, but it's still a really light soda. It's really thirst quenching, which is great. That's what I need today. Yeah, that's really good. Very highly recommended. It's very light, but it's very refreshing, and it's really flavorful without being overwhelming. I'm really into this soda. So, um, oh yeah, another grown man record night coaster. So, if you watch it, you get it. Alright, so here we go. So, uh, this is my copy of the first Black Widow record, Sacrifice. Uh, it's an original U.S. press on United Artists. I think overseas it came out on Columbia. And I got this before you could get reissues of this. There was a reissue that came out in Italy not too long ago. And this record actually has a distinction of being one of probably very, very few records that I own that I would genuinely call satanic. Um, I'm kind of fascinated by these early satanic records anyway, to be honest. You know, I have an original of that Coven record too, and uh, if anyone has a Jamra record, I would love to get my hands on one of those. But most of the satanic records, quote unquote, especially out of the 80s, your Venom and your Slayer, and even your Merciful Fates, I mean, they're all about Satan and about the occult and about demonology and shit like that, but they don't really make it sound appealing, you know what I mean? It's all sort of like... It's like Slayer is classic, you know what I mean? It's like, here's a song about Satan, and then here's a song about murder, you know? It's like, it's not like, it's like, it's not cool. It's like, they're kind of celebrating it for sure. I'm not going to sit here and deny the obvious, but it's not like, oh yeah, Satan sounds really hip, you know? These guys make it sound like Satan's like your pal, you know what I mean? Like, Satan is someone you want to hang out with, and he'll make you powerful, but he's cool, and uh, he's nice. He'll make your life more fulfilling and shit like that, and so... Uh, so, uh, so that's, that, that's sort of where I get off saying that this record I really find to be uh, satanic in a way that not many records are. In fact, the only other band I can think of right off is probably Running Wild, because today, for them, the whole, like, Satan thing is, like, a symbol of, like, rebellion against, like, the authority that's, like, making you go to school and shit like that, you know? It's also sort of less about, like, you know, killing and, like, bad stuff. It's more just, like, power. So anyway, um... So here's the, so the story, the reason I'm doing this though is because I want to tell the story about how I got this record. Because it's a funny story. So, um, I had known about this band for a long time. I had it on CD at one point. I've always loved it. 
and I uh, wanted to get a copy on record, of course. Uh, this is actually even before I got rid of all my CDs, but, uh... Uh, so anyway, um... Sorry, I'm kind of sick, so my brain isn't working too well. So anyway, back in the late 90s, in the early days of eBay, as some of you might recall, um, it didn't force you to use an alias. Like, for your alias for eBay, you could just use your email address, and it would just appear right there on the screen, and in theory, anyone could just, like, you know, look at your email address and hit you up. So I found this record on eBay. I was like, oh, holy shit, this is my chance to get an original fucking sacrifice by Black Widow. So, um, you know, I put a bid on it. Well, a couple seconds later, I get an, e I get an email saying I've been outbid. And I'm like, oh, holy shit, who outbid me so fast? So I go and look at it. And the guy is, the email address is eric at r2rministries.com. I'm like, fuck. So I put another bid on it, and he outbids me again immediately. I'm like, shit. So at this point, I'm getting pissed, okay, because I'm like, I went and looked at the website, looked at r2rministries.com, and saw that it was a site right run by this guy named Eric Holmberg, who, um, like, makes these videos basically talking about the evils of rock and roll and, like, all this shit like that. So I was like, fuck, I really <laughs> want this record for my collection. And if this guy has, like, Gary Bauer's money behind him, Gary Bauer, that's kind of dating it, right, with the Christian Coalition, because they've been defunct. If it's one of those kinds of organizations and he has their money to draw on for like his research budget, then I don't have a fucking chance against this guy. He could bid it through the roof. You know, I'm willing to pay what it's worth, but... So I was like, fuck. So I sent this guy an email and I was like, hey man, listen. And it's kind of a dick thing to do in retrospect, actually. I kind of didn't have any business doing it, so let me just fess that up up front. But I sent this guy an email. I was like, dude, listen, I actually really like this band. This is one of my favorite records. And if you're just like gonna get this thing, I see. I looked at your website and I see what you're doing. And basically, if you're just buying this record so you can like make a video and slag it and talk about what a piece of shit it is and how you're gonna go to hell if you listen to it, and then lock it away in some like dungeon so no one can ever get their hands on it again, then you're kind of a dick for doing that, you know? I mean, I was more eloquent than that, but that's basically what I said. So a little while later, I get an email back from Eric Holmberg himself, right? Who. I have to give him credit, was totally a stand-up guy. He was like, yeah, listen, this is what I am doing, blah, 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 and I really kind of need this thing for my research project that I'm doing, but no, it's not Gary Bauer's money or anything like that, and like, I'm really, you know, he just came off as really sincere, and he was like, and you know something, man, I don't listen to stuff much anymore, but I'm not about censorship, and like, the whole, like, um, you know, I, I'm just about putting the information out there, and so this is just like, uh, you know, I need to get a hold of it for blah, 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 but if you can help me find another source, if there's a reissue or a CD of it or something like that, then whatever. So I go look around. I'd already seen it on CD, right? So we exchanged a couple of emails. It was pretty pleasant at that point. And I found, like, on Amazon, I think it, I mean, it's on Amazon was already doing CDs then. They probably just started. It was like before they'd done all this other shit like they do now. It was just books and CDs at that point. But I was like, yeah, you know something? You can actually get it from here. So he was like, okay. Well, listen, my principles, my like Christian principles, I can't withdraw a bid. But um, here's what my max bid was. If you outbid me, I'll just let it go. So sure enough, he did. I outbid him. I paid a little bit more than I wanted to for the record, but it was still sort of within the range of what I was willing to pay for. And I don't even remember what it was at this point. So I ended up getting the record. And I'm having this email exchange with Eric Holmberg. Now, ironically, I never saw this in the video, but I did check out a couple of his videos. And I gotta tell you, as like, if you're into like sort of like these like anti rock videos, the Christian produced ones, his are pretty much as entertaining as it gets. Especially, and I almost feel bad about saying this, but his very first one called Hell's Bells is a howl. That thing is just fucking entertaining from start to finish. He was actually even a little bit embarrassed by it. I could tell by some of the things he said. It's like, oh yeah, I don't think I'd make such a big deal out of like the back mask me again and shit like that. But um, anyway, it, it was a funny experience. I actually got into a bidding war with a guy who needed, you know, needed the record so he could like feature it in one of his videos. And um, I have to admit, I was surprised. I learned a little something because I was expecting this guy to just be a sanctimonious dickhead. And he really, he totally wasn't. I mean, I'm not with this guy as far as his intentions or anything like that. But as far as putting this stuff out there based on his beliefs, you know, God love him. I've got no problem with that at all. And, um, so, you know, 
I, uh, I got a cool record out of the deal. I uh, learned that not all people who make videos talking about how rock music is uh, of the devil are necessarily dicks, because this guy was a stand-up guy. And uh, I got a pretty funny story out of it, too. So um, that's my story of uh, how I got this copy of uh, Black Widow Sacrifice. Thanks for watching. Hope you got a chuckle.